Helen Adams Keller, 1880-1968, was an American author, disability rights advocate, political activist, and lecturer. Happiness does not come from without, it comes from within. Security is mostly a superstition. It does not exist in nature, nor do the children of men as a whole experience it. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run, than outright exposure. Life is either a daring adventure, or nothing. Many persons have a wrong idea of what constitutes true happiness. It is not attained through self-gratification, but through fidelity to a worthy purpose. Face your deficiencies and acknowledge them, but do not let them master you. Let them teach you patience, sweetness, insight. Relationships are like Rome, difficult to start out, incredible during the prosperity of the Golden Age, and unbearable during the fall. Then, a new kingdom will come along and the whole process will repeat itself until you come across a kingdom like Egypt, that thrives and continues to flourish. This kingdom will become your best friend, your soul mate, and your love. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. When we do the best that we can, we never know what miracle is wrought in our life, or in the life of another. For three things I thank God every day of my life. Thanks that he has vouchsafed me knowledge of his works, deep thanks that he has set in my darkness the lamp of faith, deep, deepest thanks that I have another life to look forward to a life joyous with light and flowers and heavenly song. Literature is my utopia. Here I am not disenfranchised. No barrier of the senses shuts me out from the sweet. Gracious discourses of my book friends. They talk to me without embarrassment or awkwardness. The few own the many because they possess the means of livelihood of all. The country is governed for the richest, for the corporations, the bankers, the land speculators, and for the exploiters of labor. The majority of mankind are working people. So long as their fair demands, the ownership and control of their livelihoods, are set at naught, we can have neither men's rights nor women's rights. The majority of mankind is ground down by industrial oppression in order that the small remnant may live in ease, for, after all, Everyone who wishes to gain true knowledge must climb the hill difficulty alone, and since there is no royal road to the summit, I must zigzag it in my own way. I slip back many times, I fall, I stand still, I run against the edge of hidden obstacles, I lose my temper and find it again and keep it better, I trudge on, I gain a little, I feel encouraged, I get more eager and climb higher and begin to see the widening horizon. Every struggle is a victory. One more effort and I reach the luminous cloud, the blue depths of the sky, the uplands of my desire. In a word, literature is my utopia. Here I'm not disfranchised. No barrier of the senses shuts me out from the sweet. Gracious discourse of my book friends. They talk to me without embarrassment or awkwardness. The things I have learned, and the things I have been taught seem, of ridiculously little importance compared with their, large loves and heavenly charities. I believe that God is in me as the sun is in the color, 
and fragrance of a flower, the light in my darkness, the voice in my silence. So long as you can sweeten another's pain, life is not in vain. Life is a succession of lessons, which must be lived to be understood. Keep your face to the sunshine, and you cannot see the shadows. It's what the sunflowers do. Four things to learn in life, to think clearly without hurry or confusion, to love everybody sincerely, to act in everything with the highest motives, to trust God unhesitatingly.